It's been so long since we have played the last FNAF game and today it's time for the scary prequel Five Nights at Freddy's 4 But can I run it on my old PC? Well, you came to the right place Welcome to Tax Play Hello everyone, and today I will once again test out the old but nice iGPU, the Intel HD Graphics 4600. In this video, you'll learn how will this GPU run the popular game Five Nights at Freddy's 4. But disclaimer, apparently this game and the usual software that I use for benchmarking just doesn't work that well together. So I'm sorry for the bad quality of this recording and the lack of stats or graphics. I can't get it to work, so frustrating. But if you're still interested in the full specification of the test bench, it's right below the like button. Anyway, was that the bite of 87? Okay, we're done testing, and as you cannot see thanks MSI, the result should all be the same as the previous three. Since there was no recorded data, I'll assume even in 720p default settings, it looks pretty dang smooth. Maybe at around 60 FPS average with the 0.1% at 37, I don't know, but that's not bad. Once again, this is due to its game engine where it's 
actually a 2D engine called Click Team Fusion. So this game is just a bunch of pre-rendered images that we play like a slideshow. So running it with a potato or even a high-end RTX 3090 Ti, it wouldn't matter anyway. It's capped at 60. And yeah, I just don't know why this game just doesn't work properly like the others. So if you're planning to record or stream, it'll be kinda hard and the FPS improvement without recording shouldn't be that much either. So overall, this game is playable and takes a lot of focus but with good hearing and crank volume. Like my god, can you even hear this right now? So what do you think about the performance? Is this good enough? Let me know in the comments. Alright, that's Alton Watch I got for today. I hope this video can help you understand how good is the Intel HD graphics 4600 to play FNAF. Oh. So this is the end of the video, thanks for watching and hit that like button, don't forget to come back next week for more knowledge about tech and subscribe so you won't miss it, alright? Oh.